What's up, Boulder, Colorado? I, I don't need you to slap me on my back because I'm good because my arms can reach back there. But I'm, I really just want you to understand these decisions are based on knowledge. Today, we've got several great new stories for you. So we're going to make like a log and get rolling. Our main story today is about Coach Prime's epic response to an Arizona player. For those who might have missed it, Arizona linebacker Taylor Upshaw had a special message for quarterback Shadur Sanders. We're also going to talk about the game and a few other great stories. So grab you your cup of Starbucks, sit back, and get ready because this is the prime time for college football. In our very first story today, we're going to talk about Arizona linebacker Taylor Upshaw's message to Shador. For those of you who missed it, let's take a quick look. Okay. Okay, you know that. I don't know why you right. talk to me like that when you know I'll kill you for it. <laughs> oh, man, I can't wait to the 28th. I'm going to make you my girlfriend. <laughs> so if it wasn't clear, he basically said, get your mind right, little boy, to Shador. Well, before the game, Arizona beat writer Jason Shear followed up and asked Coach Prime what he thought about it. Coach Prime's response then surprised some people. Coach Prime told him, that's a young man taking advantage of his moment. In other words, Coach Prime took the high road and basically diffused the situation with 100% class. Now, Upshaw's impact on the game didn't match his words. He only had three total tackles, and he committed a pretty costly roughing the passer penalty, which led to a go-ahead Colorado touchdown in the second half. And we're not going to call out Shear here because we think it was a fair question, but you know that the media was secretly hoping that Coach Prime was going to dunk on this kid, and once again, Coach Prime did not take the bait. Also, quick shout-out for the way the team and Coach Prime honored veterans on Veterans Day. We loved this look on Coach Prime. We got to figure out where we can get some of that epic veteran day, Veterans Day apparel. What do you guys think about that outfit that Coach Prime had on the sidelines this weekend? Let us know down there in the comments below. Now, as far as the game, I thought that Colorado played really well. And you can clearly see that this team is getting better and better every single week. This Arizona team has certainly turned it up during the second half of the year, rising to 7-3, and three, and they're up to fourth place overall in the Pac-12. And Colorado was on the cusp of taking them out. Now, there's no moral victories. I get it. But the offense looked a lot better in Shermer's second week of taking over play calling. So hats off to Coach Prime in Colorado for the continued improvement. We talked about in the preview show that Arizona had beaten three straight ranked teams. We also talked about how it wasn't translating to wins, but Colorado looks a lot better these last two weeks and then this week as well. They've covered the spread in three straight weeks and they've kept games that were supposed to be blowouts very competitive and competitive late in the fourth quarter. They've got three one-score games against three really good teams. And I am right there with you. I wanted all three of those to be wins. I get it, but the improvement is happening. Once you were out of the playoff picture, once you were out of the Pac-12 picture, uh, after about a month and a half of the season, it became about improvement, and they're doing that. They're setting themselves up to be really, really good next year. Next, we're going to talk about what Coach Prime thought of Shermer's second week as a play caller. Let's listen to what he had to say week for coach Shermer in, in this new role did that did that help at yeah all? tremendously I, th I think you saw it I mean we're not um doing the uh, um you know uh, tempo we're not as as tempo as we once were because instead of going fast I want them to get it right and uh they did a phenomenal job they they did a good enough job for us to win we just got to support them defensively that's it he I think he called a phenomenal game he really did. Now, they called a phenomenal game because it's a collaborative collaborative effort when you hear it on the set. Um, they're really working together as one, and they're unified. So it was a great effort. We're, we're not at – rather, if you know it or not, we're not at odds around here. I don't play that. I got to do what's best for this fan base, for the school, for our AD, for our team. The decisions I make, I feel like is best for us going forward, and that's why I make them. 
Uh, it's okay for you to second guess. I don't, I don't mind that at all because I'm, I've been second guessed my whole life. I don't give a darn, really. I'm not going to lose a wink of sleep because you second guessing what I did and what I do. But uh, I make decisions not based off emotions. I make decisions based off facts and based off feelings and based off knowledge and understanding and tremendous wisdom. That's why I make decisions. Thank you, my man. So Coach Prime thought the offense did well enough in scoring 31 to possibly win. But the defense just didn't quite show up like it had in the prior weeks. And again, Arizona's a good team. They're not 7-3 and three for just any reason. The offense looked the part. And it only being Shermer's second game calling the plays, it's pretty impressive that they looked as good as they did. They answered a lot of calls. They answered when the bell rang for them. Came up just a little bit short. But I like the improvement that we're seeing. Now, we're going to now talk about Coach Prime's thoughts about the team not showing up together. Let's listen to that real quick. Please see that finally come about. And yeah, yeah. I mean, we still hadn't showed up, have, hadn't shown up together in one game yet. What I mean by that is the offense play their butts off, the defense play their butts off, and special teams play their butts off. We still hadn't done that as of yet. But – it was close. Special teams did its part in, uh, uh, shoot, what we scored, 31 points? That, that should be enough to win the football game. That was the challenge that I gave them at the beginning of the week. I said, guys, we need to score at least 31 points because based on what uh, they surrender and what they score on the road, you come up with all these calculations and you kind of narrow it down and you say, okay, this is what they normally do. And they've, they've been a consistent team. So that was the number. 31 and I feel like we would win if we scored 31 points and we came up short so we've already told you guys it takes years to turn around a bad football team and program it took Kirby Smart and Nick Saban multiple years to turn around their programs coach prime is well ahead of schedule and this team is turning things around but they do have to learn how to play together you have to have all three units Offense, defense, and special teams on the same page. And you have to have them showing up together. And you have to have them playing that full 60 minutes. Right now, the offense looks really good. For the last couple of weeks, the offense wasn't great. And the defense had to carry you. When the defense hasn't been good, the offense, we, if we get it together, you'll see them start to win a lot more. Now, what is Coach Prime's message to the team for these last two games of the year? Let's listen to that real quick. And to leave there with the there is, It's not about in the next two games. It's about one game at a time. It's about doing the little things to win one game at a time. It's about winning the personal battles one play at a time. It's about dominating the guy in front of you and whooping the guy in front of you and being successful versus the guy in front of you. Now, when you get 11 per persons on the same page to do that, then that play is successful. So we got to win the down. We got to win the series. We got to win the quarter. We got to win the half. Then we win the game. After we win the game, we do it all over again. So we're not thinking about bowls or um, we think about just doing what we need to do to improve. And each week I see improvement in, in certain areas. And each week I, I, I see that we got to improve in certain areas. But we sit up here week in and week out. And it's a situation where we could have won. We could have won the darn game. And I like that. We should have won. I'm tired of we could have won. I'm tired of that part. But we should have won. Very. It ain't no lose in me. I, it don't sit well with me. It don't rock well with me. It don't lay down with me. I have no lose in me. Um, and we have some phenomenal men in that locker room that feel the same way. We just got to be a lot more disciplined and understand what's at hand and stand up to the task on every darn play. And we're going to get there. I promise you we're going to get there. I don't know when we're going to get there, but, baby, we're going to get there. Coach Prime has told us this before, but losing does not sit well with him. He hasn't been a loser his entire life, but he does see the positives with this team. And I know that moral victories frustrate fans. They frustrate me too. I wouldn't want to pay my money or sit in a stadium or 
tune in for these 10 o'clock games that they got us playing every other week just for some idiot on YouTube to tell me, hey, it's okay. They looked good. But the truth of the matter is that. I'm frustrated with the loss, but I can also recognize improvement. I'm frustrated that they didn't find a way to pull it out last night and find a way to win. But I can still tell that the team is getting better. And so that doesn't erase the fact that you lost. You play to win the game, right? Herm Edwards' comment. You play to win. But I can see the improvement, and I'm proud of the improvement, and I'm hopeful that that improvement continues. I'm not going to be shocked if Colorado goes out and wins these next two games. That's what they need to go do. And is it going to be easy? Absolutely not. But you can tell they're getting better week after week after week. If you're not more encouraged after this loss than you were when we lost to Stanford, who was a that was a bad loss, a team you had no business losing to. If you're not more encouraged after this weekend than you were then, I don't know what's wrong. Now, I'm still frustrated. A loss is still a loss. They still count as an L in the loss column, but I do feel better about it. Finally, let's talk about Coach Prime's response. The reporter asking about punting on fourth down. Listen there. Was transpiring right there. I know the feeling and the mood of the team. Just so happens, I think we punted the ball to what, the two? And then we held them and they had to punt. Uh, what happened after that? We scored? Why you say nothing about that? I think that was a pretty good decision, wasn't it? And my favorite, right? Can we start off with that? About that great decision you made, Coach? I don't need you to slap me on my back because I'm good because my arms can reach back there. But I'm, I really just want you to understand these decisions are based on knowledge. We're not guessing. They're based on what we do in practice and the situations we have in practice. I have situations in practice that I will say fourth and one on this yard line. Now, if we don't get it consecutively, what do you think I'm going to do in the game? That's what I did. Now, I'm not going to lie. When Coach Prime said he doesn't need you to slap him on the back because his arms can reach back there, I busted out laughing. He's hilarious. And he says some of the most unintentionally hilarious things all the time and at all times. He's always got a quick-witted, humorous response ready to go. But it's true. He doesn't need to do anything but be himself and he has the media absolutely eating out of his hands. Now look, we've got two games left in this season. Recruiting season is about to pick up big time. We're not going anywhere. We've been saying that all year. I wonder if some of you thought, if they lose four or five in a row, will he really keep doing this? Well, we've been here, and I don't care what happens the next two weeks. We'll be here for those as well. We appreciate you guys for all the support. The love on the channel is phenomenal. Make sure that you're locked in and subscribed with us so you don't miss anything. We've got a busy week coming up, and we appreciate you guys for tuning in. Thank you, as always, for watching the prime time for college football.